Hello everyone, this is Arit back again with another video. In the last video, uh, we were working on this REST API using uh, type ORM and type script. In, in that tutorial, we, we created a CRUD application where we were able to create a um, basic uh, crea create uh, post and uh, delete post, update post and all the stuff. In this video, we are going to add authentication to that uh, API and uh, for that yeah. in this video we are just going to make two endpoints like login and register endpoints and uh, in the next video um, we will move forward and implement both uh, the things together like uh, connecting authentication and uh, the API we have already created in post so let's get started so first of all let me start the server and npm uh, run dev this is taking some time and uh, here by the time uh, let's just uh, create uh, this is our post route so instead of just putting post over here i'm thinking of uh, moving it outside and uh, putting over here so, um, this won't affect uh, anything this will still be same it's just uh, for sake of better understanding it's like uh, this one is post route and this starts with post anyway it was starting with the post uh, but uh, right now it is here and the second one let's say it is uh, auth we are going to create some of the endpoints let's just grab this code form over here and uh, okay sorry and uh, then we are just gonna start with this and uh, this will be auth controller Here we're gonna create a auth controller file. We're not uh, we're not going to need all this. We just uh, log in and uh, sign up would be fine. So I'll just remove this for now. And uh, first of all, let's create a auth controller. Right here, we have created auth controller, and uh, in the auth controller, we're going to create a class. This will extend to base entity, entity and uh, login. And uh, second would be register. And we're gonna need to add some of the dependencies as well. Uh, we will install them very soon. Okay, I, I think I forgot to export it. Right. 
left and uh, here it will be login right so, these are all set and uh, and the, right now we are uh, now the most important thing is uh, when i use uh, user entity create a user entity and uh, inside this let's grab this one and uh, paste it over here i see we do need a id and after this uh, we will need a first name last name get it and this another one and uh, that would be in case we update uh, the user that uh, updated column right we we'll need uh, email address and uh, password as well right now next thing is we're gonna need to install some of the dependencies like uh, json web token uh, and uh, big cheers for uh, hashing password and all so let's install them This one will be kept JS and uh, press it enter. we're gonna need to install their types as well i guess right now here we're gonna create two func two functions uh, for one for having the password and uh, second one for creating a json web token and uh, for that um, we're just going to copy paste from uh, one of the code that i have already created and uh, let's see This one is um, for set password. Here, uh, this will take password and a uh, backup JS. We're gonna need to import it. Let's grab this one here. Both the things. Right. After um, adding all this, we're gonna need to add. Uh, um, j this one will generate our. Um, to json web token and this will take uh, the email and uh, this is a secret you can add anything from anything here and uh, this will expire in one hour and the next thing is uh, is it will check if the password is valid or not by decoding it okay sounds good 
now after implementing uh, all these things we're going to move forward to controller and uh, here first we're going to um, start with register and that this will We will grab uh, start. We'll grab uh, email and password. And one one more thing, uh, we are going to uh, make this uh, first name and last name nullable, and uh, so that uh, um, for, uh, while sign up, or user don't need to pass it. User will only. Uh, update it after uh, logging in or visiting their profile and uh, to make it nullable, I guess so we're gonna put uh, and able to true and uh, here as well, right? So here we are grabbing this email address and password uh, from our uh, from the user and. Uh, after that, we'll check. So, for all the validation part, like uh, if the user gives both the things or not, we have already implemented it. Actually, I have done this already. Here, here. Um, after this, we're gonna use a uh, user new user. And uh, and user dot email. Uh, we are going to assign the email that we get from here, and the user and password. This is coming from the our entity user dot set password, and this will uh, grab uh, set this password. I I mean this will has this, and uh, after after um, in the we will validate the user if there is uh, any error. Uh, error length is greater than zero then the status will be 400 and send error return and after that we are going to use uh, use repository to s s save data and all we could have used a uh, use manager as well but uh, here we are going to use the use repository and after that uh, after initializing user repository, user repository, it needs to entity user entity, and after uh, we're gonna save everything here, user, and uh, in case of any error, we will send uh, four zero nine status code, and user already exists, right? And uh, let's start state other otherwise two zero one user created, right? This will be the function for the register, and uh, here there will be a login function as well. So for that, uh, this is almost the same thing. It just uh, it will check for user and password. If there is no user and password, then it will get four hundred and uh, use repository to and. And uh, after that, uh, user user is valid password, okay. And uh, four zero one send incorrect password. If the password is incorrect, and uh, if the password is correct, and user ex user does exist in our database, we are using find one here. We could have used find one or fail find or fail. So, and after that, uh, rest status to 200 JSON 
and we are going to pass x token which is generated by the our function that we have written inside our user entity user generate CW2. after that we're going to connect uh, both these to our auth rods yes, one will be login another will be register auth register and auth login and now we are all good to go and after running this uh, code after this we're gonna test this so let me start this let's close this one first Uh, start this one right we are going to use postman for the testing purpose We are running this on for three thousand. Okay, so okay. we're going to use register first. And in register, we're going to pass uh, raw data in the JSON format. Turn on this will be email, I guess. Let's test one two five to gmail dot com. Test one. Right, let's submit this. Oh, sorry, it's a full post request. No, so it it does give us a user creator, okay. And then now, uh, let me check. Uh, let us check the user login as well. This will return. Uh, Let's copy this one. Okay. To use a login, submit this. And here we go. We have our access token created. Okay. So this is how we're going to create a basic authentication. In the next video, we will add to more stuff like. Uh, adding refresh token and uh, validation as well so this is it for this video in the next video we will do we will move forward and uh, if you like the video consider subscribing and thank you for watching